Most Canadians would agree at least fundamentally with the idea of separation of church and state, right? Well, how about separation of mosque and state? You see, this week the federal government announced it would be giving nearly $200,000 to an Ontario mosque as part of the Canada 150 Community Infrastructure Program. Now, this is a program the government has earmarked $150 million for to celebrate our country's 150th birthday next year. It's a worthwhile goal. We'll throw a big party. They want to make sure that the country is all newly renovated, squeaky clean. What better way to celebrate Canada's culture and heritage than $150 million of government handouts, right? Well, what the government has said is that it's giving money to groups that it feels will have an impact in the cultural fabric of this country. So how does the Kitchener Masjid fit in? This is the mosque in Kitchener, Ontario, that's receiving $197,585 to renovate its gymnasium and prayer space. And they have access to this program, the Community Infrastructure Program. Now, on the government's website, it says the purpose of this is basically to give access to community groups. Priority will be given to projects that address one or more of the following. Upgrades to recreational facilities, advance a clean growth economy, impact on Indigenous communities and people. Nowhere in those key priorities does it talk about faith groups or places of worship. In fact, there are other sections of the website where they talk about what kind of groups are eligible. And apart from saying not-for-profit groups can apply, they don't even mention places of worship. And we've seen some circumstances where places of worship have been ruled out because they are actually places of worship. By way of example, I can tell you about two historic churches in Prince Edward Island that were told because they were operating as churches and not as community centers, they were ineligible for funding. In fact, part of the National Trust of Canada, a group that has advocated for heritage properties across the country, Executive Director Natalie Bull said last year, operating churches that are still in use as places of worship would not be eligible for this funding. So is this renovation that the Kitchener Masjid is undergoing, a $3.5 million renovation that we as taxpayers are funding close to $200,000 of, about a community center, or is it about the actual mosque? Well, let's go to the manager of the facility himself, the man who himself said this had nothing to do with a gymnasium. Mursad Kaplani, manager of the Kitchener Masjid, said, quote, the plan is to transform the mosque to a proper place of worship, unquote. A CBC piece also added to this from its coverage of the story, saying, this will help make it more recognizable and functional as a place for prayer, unquote. Now, I'm a Christian. I understand that people of faith, people who are going to a place of worship, need to have access to a facility that suits their needs. But it's the responsibility of them to scrounge together the money to do that. Now, the Kitchener Masjid has already fundraised about $2.8 million for this. And with the 200000 from the government, they're still trying to fundraise another half a million. They've come a long way. They can do more. But the more I looked into it, I realized that they're not exactly hurting for cash. You see, the Kitchener Masjid is a subsidiary of the Muslim Association of Canada, better known as MAC. Now, MAC, according to a report done by QMI Agency last year, has had per year $16.1 million in revenue. In fact, over the last decade, Mac has amassed property worth millions of dollars across the country, buying in a 10-year period 11 properties. One of them is a $5 million palace almost in Montreal. Now, because it's a religious organization, of course, they're not having to deal with these pesky things called taxes. Now, I might also remind you that the Muslim Association of Canada has been linked, their money has been linked to terrorists. The Muslim Association of Canada is a benefactor of Irfan Canada, which in 2001 had its charitable status revoked after it had been funneling money to Hamas, which is a terrorist agency in the Middle East. Now, Irfan Canada denied wrongdoing. They said, no, 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 the money we paid didn't go towards terrorist activities. And the Muslim Association of Canada says, oh, well, we had nothing to do with Irfan after its charitable status was revoked. Except that same QMI report also revealed that RCMP surveillance documents did in fact show that MAC had continued to finance IRFAN after the fact. MAC is a Canadian offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood. And this isn't just me speaking. In fact, on the organization's own website, it talks about its roots with the man who also founded the Muslim Brotherhood. They don't even hide this information. So why are Canadian taxpayers giving $200,000 to any place of worship especially a mosque, when churches have been denied funding under the same program. 
And certainly, I think the question needs to be asked, why is the government giving money to an organization that has been linked to a charity that is no longer a charity because it was funding terrorists? These are questions that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau must answer, and I hope he will, but I won't hold my breath. For the Rebel.media, I'm Andrew Lawton. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.